Hey everybody, Dr. Dave Marquis here and I had a message for you that had to do with circulation. It's something that we depend on every day to get blood flow and oxygen to our brain and everything else. And just some factoids on circulation. You know, the oxygen that we're breathing in that goes through our lungs, our brain is using a full 25% of that. And many people are mismanaging that. Some of the mismanagement affects our nervous system. Sometimes when people come in here with one of their complaints being hypertension or elevated blood pressure, I like to look to see how well they're handling or managing their, their nervous system. Because so many people are just not great breathers. So that's one thing about what I'm gonna talk about that's kind of a collateral or parallel pathway that people need to take into consideration is what I'm going to share with you right now has to do with something that you can use to help your body to vasodilate better. And vasodilation is largely a byproduct of how we breathe. Right now I'm going to do a dive into some of the things that we can use to help us better regulate oxygen delivery throughout the body. I want you to think about your blood vessels as pipes and those pipes, they have muscles in them. Those muscles actually have a lining within them that produces a gas. Many people didn't realize that, but your vessels actually produce a gas called nitric oxide, not nitrous oxide, very different. So nitrous oxide would be like laughing gas. Nitric oxide is a gas that's produced in your blood vessels, and it does several really important things, but two that I wanna focus on. One, it's an immune modulator. It actually works along with glutathione and vitamin D to keep your immune system in a neutral state. So it's not overly aggressive and it's not suppressed either. Number two, it's a vasodilator. So it opens up your blood vessels. Oftentimes, like if you shake somebody's hand, which we almost don't do anymore, if you shake somebody's hand and you feel that they're really cold, oftentimes people think that, oh, their, you know, their thyroid might be weak or it must be cold outside. But sometimes it's just circulation and they're not actually managing their nitric oxygen oxide well. Sometimes when we go to altitude and we get up there, we notice that we get headachey for a couple of days or we feel a little bit more lethargic. Nitric oxide is something that the body can make. It's made in every vessel in the body. It's necessary for immune modulation and vasodilation. And now one more little factoid there. When you make a blood vessel bigger, it drops your blood pressure. It's a basic principle of physics. Increase volume, decrease pressure. So a lot of people who are utilizing blood pressure reducing medications, many of those people simply aren't managing their nitric oxide well. When they say, oh, it's genetic, my whole family has hypertension. Well, there's genes that regulate nitric oxide, NOS 1, 2, and 3. And many of those families have all of those genes. And so knowing that, wouldn't it be wise to biohack yourself and support yourself nutritionally so that you don't manifest that negative outcome of that gene? Well, that's what you can do with nitric oxide precursors. So I wanted to show you a few things. Many times people will use beet extract as a source of nitrates to allow their body to make nitric oxide. That works great, except for those people who are histamine intolerant. If you're not histamine intolerant, this is actually one of my favorite products that you can utilize. It's a concentrate of beet extract. It's called Neo40. And you just suck on these lozenges and it will increase your nitric oxide very predictably. These are great. One of the things that I'll actually take with me backpacking because I can just pop these things as I'm going up the mountain and it increases my blood flow and circulation. For those people who are histamine intolerant, which is a chunk of the population, you can use other things like some of the amino acids, citrulline or ornithine. So these are two of my favorites there. This one in particular is one that I use a lot of if I'm not backpacking because it's a little more cost effective, but it works great to allow for vasodilation and very predictable blood pressure drops if people are hypertensive. Utilizing this along with the vitamin D and glutathione also acts as a great immune modulator. The last one here is a liquid version that is one of my personal favorites for individuals who have had concussions or happen to be unable to swallow a capsule or histamine intolerant and it has something in it called ATP which is actually liquid energy. So this one uses a few different botanicals that approaches the nitric oxide pathway from a completely different angle than what I was just sharing with you right there but it works really well. I was up to about three tablespoons of this personally to get a vasodilation so that when I would surf I would be able to keep up with my boys. They can out paddle me. 
but if dad takes nitric oxide, I can keep up with them because it allows me to stay in the game longer. If I don't do that, I tend to get winded quicker and I have to get out of the water a little bit sooner. Well, my wife got wind of this and she said, hey, what was that stuff that you were taking? And I said, oh, it was this nitric balance. And she says, oh, okay. Well, I get a call about a week later and she says, something's wrong. And I said, what's going on? She says, I'm driving to a tennis match right now. I just feel like my heart's racing. And I said, did you do anything different today? And she said, well, I did take that stuff that you told me about in the fridge. And I said, well, how much did you take? And she says, well, I took the three tablespoons that you take. Well, I'm like 70 pounds heavier than my wife easily. And this really needs, and all, all things need to be taken in proportion to your body's needs. That was a little bit more than my wife's needs for that particular day. And so I took a deep sigh and said, okay, don't worry about it. You're gonna be just fine. Just ride that one out. What's happened is that your blood pressure's probably dropped. You have vasodilated a little bit too much, but you're gonna have a lot of oxygen for your match. After about 30 minutes, everything will settle down. And it did, it played out just fine for her. But that's just a, a caveat and, and a life story to impress upon you that not everything has the same dose for everyone. And you really have to look at your unique needs as to what you're going to use and how much of it you're going to use. My intent in sharing this with you is so that you can walk away with knowledge that, hey, there are natural things that can help me to lower my blood pressure, increase my circulation, warm up my extremities, and make my brain have more oxygen delivered to it. Nitric oxide is one of those tools, and it's really simple to take. I mean, in the capsule form or in the liquid form, you know, you just put a little bit into whatever it is that you've got to measure that out and bottoms up. You let that stuff get in the system and go. It really increases your circulation. Hope that information's helpful for you and I wish you all to be well.